Hello everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Um, so, I've been playing. <laughs> I've been playing with um, another piece that I've seen from Corey uh, Darman. Um, I've been looking for creating um, a cover in a different way, um, mainly because I don't have my sewing machine, I'm not going to be able to sew for a while. So I was thinking, what else can I do with a cover? And I watched Corey make this. Um, this is actually one of her scrap makes, and I think it's only a video she's put up this week, maybe a couple of days ago. Um, yeah, and I'll link it below so you can go and have a look. So this is what I played with initially that gave me the idea of um, sizing it up and making it a, you know, a big journal cover. So I've just tied it with a little bit of string like I say, uh, Corey may explain it much better than me, um, but definitely different <laughs> to what I'm going to explain it to you. So it might be worth watching the two if you fancy having it a go. Having a go. Um, but this is just like a little notebook um, journal. Like I say, she made it with the scraps and she made it with, um, well, I think she started with a 12 by 12 page, but she said you can she cut it into four. So, you, you know, make it with six by six pieces, which is what I did. I had... Um, four pieces of six by six of that lovely Stamperia pad. So yeah, I followed, um, I need something to pop in there, don't I? I followed her instructions, excuse with me a moment. Um, let's get something out of here just to show you. Nothing wants to come out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it's got a pocket in there. It's got a pocket in there. Obviously I've not filled anything yet. It's got a small notebook in the middle. Um, it's got a pocket in there. Oops. And it's got a pocket in there. And like I say, all, all of you out there that um, that follow Corey, I've probably seen that made this week anyway. Um, that's not what I've come on to show you how to do, although I, kind of it is, but I've scaled it up. So I wasn't going to do a film, <laughs> I was just going to sit here, well I have just been sitting here playing and I did scale it up, um, yeah but obviously it's not something I could do on film because it took a little bit of you know working out here and there. I think probably if you just did it a square, which is what I'm going to do in a minute with you, um, yeah no problem. But it doesn't have to be a square, I want a journal to be taller than it is wide, which is why I've been playing with it. So this is what I ended up making, oh did I show you that there was one in there as well? Oh, have I stuck it down? That's not supposed to be stuck down. Come on, done. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so there's also that one in there. Yeah, so this is the one I made with, it wasn't double-sided paper, but it's got the nice neat paper on the back. So, so yep, yeah, it's got that uh, flap there. It's got a big pocket there or a pouch, a big one there. Obviously it will have um, a journal. I haven't got one made this size yet, but yeah, it'll have a journal in the middle there, made to size, and it's got that pouch there and that pouch on the back. So yeah, I think it's going to make a fabulous, you know, soft cover. Um, as soon as I thought, saw that and thought about a cover, I thought, yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be good. Obviously, you have to, <laughs> you have to fold and get everything accurate a little bit. I'm going to have to put some, uh, you know, I tried, I tried and tried and tried to get that straight, but <laughs> once I'd glued it and cut it, I couldn't. Uh, scored it yeah so that's gonna to have to have some lace on the back but still it's going to be a nice journal cover so it's my intention <laughs> to try and show you um yeah how you can make it into a journal cover rather than uh, what what uh, Corey did um which was just just make it into a small a small notebook or a small mini journal which i am liking so what you want is four pieces of paper um I'm going to say square, now they don't have to be, you can probably work it out once you've done a couple of square ones, um, which is what I'm doing, but at the minute I'm going to do the square ones but bigger. So Corey did 6x6, six six. I think I've got 8x8, eight eight. oh it's a bit more, so I've got 21 centimetres by 21, they're just cut down from um, UK A4 or European A4 size, so um, that's why I went 21 by 21 but um, I think it's much easier, <laughs> I came to the easy bit at the end, doing it with um, non-directional paper just until you learn <laughs> what goes where. Um, and I'm, I'm doing this one with the Amazon paper so it's going to be like a really thin notebook this one, um, but a bigger size. So really just to, well one to show you, <laughs> um, I'm not sure you can even see what's going on there can you? Excuse me a minute while I zoom you out. 
a bit oops there you go is that better no that's in <laughs> sorry is that better let's go for that one um what was i saying that's completely thrown me now yeah so i'm just practicing i would advise you to do that with some some paper first unless you're much better at me <laughs> than picking up instructions now um four pieces but you do two pieces to make a piece and then you do the same again so i've already made one ready mm, i hope i can make the other one uh, exactly the same size now so i've done this one ready so i'm not doing the same thing twice with you so that's what we're trying to make so this piece here is the first one and it um where did i score it so this is the problem when you change your sizes that looks like four and three quarter oh no it's there silly so i must have scored it at three looking at that don't press too hard because it's only paper denise so the first one which is a square yeah no i appreciate i'm going in centimeters what is it in centimeters let me fold it first and i'll be able to tell you i'm going in centimeters sometimes and uh, inches others have lost my fold that's we're not doing it too hard i didn't want to go through the paper is that it yeah that's it so yeah so 21 centimeters was what i started with so i folded that first one in uh oh, seven and a half so it's just just over a third isn't it i guess what's that one seven and a half oh no it was that one wasn't it uh that was seven and no just over seven and a half is that what i said this was yeah so you can see that that is going to sit down and be that piece there and then this piece is going to go round it with the divots out front and back it's kind of going to go round it so Carver did all sorts of complicated things <laughs> to make them different sizes which is what threw me a little bit i've got nine on that side centimeters and nine on that side so i obviously cut this down to 18. see it, is, it sounds complicated now to me <laughs> which is three centimeters off it isn't it there must be an easier way there must be yeah so Cora did do that on her second piece she cut she she didn't say how much she just said cut half an inch or something off All right but i'll give you the measurements and i'm doing it half so my front and back are exactly the same um i think Cora had one bigger than the other but i'm just trying to simplify it for myself <laughs> and i'm hoping that if i make it simple for me that it might be easier uh, for somebody out there who's struggles like me <laughs> with complicated stuff okay so we've got the one piece that's three centimeters smaller now um in width we've folded it in half and it's going to go over that piece there like that and that will make the pockets it will want a divot in the front and a divot in the back so i did both of those together as well so just halfway down somewhere so we've got 21 so that's 10 and a half out of there and then ink crown that piece because once that's stuck down you'll find it difficult to yeah i've got a nice juicy dobber again i think i've swapped the dobbers over from the new ink to the old <laughs> which is working well so i've got two ink pads on the go one at my chair where i sit and this morning i just sat there and um inked a lot of uh, scraps ready for my masterboard monday <laughs> that i'm going to be doing and we don't need to do the outside of that we will be able to get to the outside of it but um yeah so i'll do the top i definitely need the top of that one don't i might as well go all the way around i don't know if i did on the other one or not yeah so whatever i'm doing here you do twice and then you just it's really easy you just slot the two together the only thing that I'm making difficult, I think, is trying to size it up bigger. Um, but yeah, this will be the third one. I think by the time I actually make it, in, I'm going to do it in some uh, 
some of that uh, graphic 45 paper. By the time I do that, I'll have hopefully got it sussed. Yep, so that goes over there like that. Um, and just like this one here, it's got a pocket front and back. So I just need to glue across here. Now I think part of the reason I'm not getting mine very straight is this glue, this cosmic shimmer, is very like art glitter in as much as it really doesn't leave you long <laughs> or any wiggle time. Um, obviously if you've got a patterned paper make sure your pattern's the right way up. Yeah so once it's on you need to get it straight, the two pieces top and bottom and again it's probably easier with card than paper that. Yeah we're not straight, we're not straight, come on. Play the game. Well the thing is, and I did it with the other one, you can trim it. <laughs> you can trim it down there and actually I've got a trimmer. Um, no, I've got a trimmer. Of course I've got a trimmer. Uh, because it's paper it will fit in the trimmer is what I was trying to say. Yep. So you've got two pieces at the moment exactly the same. That's right, isn't it Denise? Yes, that's right. <laughs> it just seems to be going too easy compared to what I've just been doing. So. Yeah, we want them they are pretty much the same size actually although they need to be more than pretty much they need to be exact but i think i might have to do the same thing i don't know if it's my folding or my gluing there's not much in it but there is a very very slight difference in the in the width which i can't can't trim because it will cut the pocket open. <laughs> no, it won't cut the pocket. Yeah, it will. It'll cut the whole fold open. You know what I mean, don't you? Right, let me just get these edges as neat as I can, and then and then we'll go on from there. So again, it won't be a very long video. Like I say, like I've said in previous videos, I I'm not supposed to sit here too long, and uh, yeah. I've been sat here playing quite a lot of the morning so it's now late afternoon. That's the back. Yeah so what happens is that one goes inside that one. Yeah so I want to, can you see how often when you, it's the same when you make um, a journal when you put two pages inside the other that are the same size the inside one is all, always a little a tiny bit bigger um, just because of the room the crease takes up. I don't want to make it a lot smaller but I do want it to fit snug if I can. So I just trim that middle piece back a little bit and because it's going to be a pocket it's going to be glued to this piece here. Are we fit in? Yeah we're fitting. We want a, a divot out of here as well anywhere um, off, I'm going to have it off centre. Corey had it off centre. That is a tab punch, Denise. <laughs> well, you can make a divot with a tab punch, but it's not what I'm looking for. Right. Oh, good. I wasn't sure how well that was going to work with it just being thin, thin paper, but it did its thing. Yeah, so obviously with just being the same paper, it's a little bit difficult for you to see. Oh, it's still showing through a little bit up there. Hmm. Um, yeah, hard to see the two different pieces now, but obviously if it was coloured paper you'd be able to see that bit inside there. Okay, so you can see we've just about got the same thing and all all you do now is around here to just to close this this pocket this flap into a pocket and apart from embellishing you've now got your piece stuck together well I'm putting your journal in the inside obviously yeah so you open it up you've got your flap there you've got your big oops big pocket 
there. Yeah, in here is where you will um, sew your journal. And I put a piece of this in one of them, which is what my sister gave me. I might put it in there because it'll, it'll give it a bit of strength, won't it? Even though this is only going to be a notebook, I think I will, just to show you what I did. Because that, obviously with paper, that's a very, very thin uh, crease that, you know, will get some uh, not pressure put on it but you know what I mean it'll get some wear and tear <laughs> it might break or bend or whatever yeah. underneath your glue strike oh, so I just put that down did I measure that not very well down the middle I've got a cloth, oh. napkin back, as good as a cloth. Oh yeah, that's quite thick, that uh, uh, paper, paper lace, would you say it is? Paper edging trim. And I'll fold it in the middle again. Should have inked that, shouldn't I? <laughs> Let's find the middle. Maybe we should do it this way and make sure we've got it square. That's it. I hope I haven't zoomed in too much now and you can't see what's going on. Yeah, obviously you can't see, because it's the same paper, you can't really see that that's a, that's a, a pocket there as such, can you? But you get the idea. Yep, so your journal will go in there or your notebook or whatever. Um, you know, lots of embellishments on the front now to close it. Um, what Corey did was, did I cut one out somewhere earlier? Yeah, I did. Out of my stamp area. Um, yeah, she just put a, I think she put a whale tail one on there actually, and she punched a hole. I'm sure you'll go over and have a look if you haven't seen it. She punched, punched a hole with an eyelet and, um, yeah, put some string through it and then kind of wrapped it round. Now obviously you can do all sorts of fastenings on there, can't you? Um, I think I'll, I'll stick that one in. Um, seeing as it's made, we don't want to waste it, do we? We don't want bits sitting around on the desk again. Uh, so yeah, you can put it over the two, as you said. You know, and it closes a bit of your pocket up, or you can just have it, and as this is paper, it doesn't need a lot, does it? Yeah, just have it as an opening like that. Um, I might be tempted with this one to just have a, um, I don't know if I've got anything here, excuse my arm, <laughs> yeah probably not stiff enough but I'm sure you what I'm digging in, that's card isn't it, yeah perhaps something like that, or you could put it on a brad so it opens, um, oh yeah just something like that that it will fold under. Yeah, that's a bit thick though because it's double, isn't it? So yeah, maybe on a brad. We should have perhaps gone in. Oh no, we'll still get it in. If we wanted it on a brad in there, we'd still be able to do it, wouldn't we? So it'll turn and close it up. You know, you could have some kind of uh, closure like that. Something bigger, maybe. You could have something on this side. Um, a Velcro dot in there, that kind of thing. Now some of these Stamperia bits are going to be nice on here actually, aren't they? Um, yeah, so I might spend some time putting some of those bits on. I do like that actually. I'll put that on now. Don't know how long I've been filming, probably not very long, so we can just do a little bit of embellishing. Um, yeah, quite like that there. As long as I don't do anything on this edge, um, because that's where I'm going to sew the, I am going to do a three, three whole pamphlet stitch when I get something. <laughs> um, these are all sayings, aren't they? I don't particularly want sayings on it. Some nice tags there. Um, I'll just stick that one on. Oh, fish on the back. Now I could use some of my snippet roll on this. All sorts of things. I think probably what I need to do is uh, is to get a... Yeah, did you realise what I'd done? I don't want it all over there, Denise. 
I will stick the thing shut. I have to wait for it to dry a minute now. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, my snippet roll. Yeah, I don't want to do too much until I've sewn the signature in, but yeah, perhaps a piece of snippet roll or um, one of the other embellishments that we've been making over these last few weeks, rather than reinvent the wheel. So, oh, what have we got in here? What haven't we got in here? I don't know if you can see or not. I'll just see if I had some of those little, um, yeah, thingamies. Oh, with them. No, they're not in there. I will show you in there very soon. Um, hmm. oh, there's a couple on here, look with my snippet rolls. These are what I was looking for. What, what did I call them? Specimen cards, that was it. I like that dark one. Yeah, that's nice on there. Iron film. Oh, that plumbing wire. Oh, I am so missing my craft room and my setup, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm really appreciative that you're staying with me through all the little mishaps that's going on. Um, yeah, definitely on the countdown now to the new new house. I'm so just looking for just having everything around me to grab, you know, just. I just got settled really at my new desk, hadn't I, with everything just about out, <laughs> not quite. And uh, obviously that's going to have some quite big, um, um, yes, journal cards, that's it, that's what I was trying to say. It's got some quite big journal cards, isn't it? I'm just, just looking at things on my desk to see if I can use any bits up. In there's a nice, but it's not really the colour we're looking for, is it? Um, label. I think my labels might be here if you can just bear with me two minutes. I'm thinking a label on the back of there might be nice. Right. What have we got here? Labels. Bottom one. Oh, I see some big Nanine labels there as well. Love that one. Does it go with the stuff on the front? It does. Yeah, let's have that there then. Oops, didn't ink it. Never mind. So it is kind of a prototype. It's not the first prototype, but uh, yeah, I probably should have inked that, but never mind. Am I off camera? Yes, I was. So, sorry, just put that down at the bottom there. Anything else that will go down here? No, not in there. No. Ooh. No, I'm not sure that you will, but it might be nice in here. What shall we have? Endearment. Happiness. Happiness and caring. I like both of those. Whoops. Sorry about the squeaky table. I'm just going to cut them out and see if I want both or one or neither, just before I leave you. <laughs> leave you to either go play or think, what was that all about? So yeah, Neil's day off tomorrow. He's back at work, uh, he's at work today, he's day off tomorrow. So it's going to be a busy, a busy day tomorrow. Um, I'm going to try, go, try going out walking again. Could have one each, each one top, one bottom. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to pop back to my craft room at my sister's and grab a few bits that I'm that I'm missing, like my eyelets and um, I can't think what it was now, but it was something else. Oh, my um, my craft paper, my craft card. I haven't brought so many things. <laughs> like I say, I'm quite full here, but uh, yeah. Yes, I'm hoping to do that. It would be nice if I could uh, just go around the supermarket, not all the way around, but just go and ch choose a few things. So difficult, isn't it, when people say, what What do you want? <laughs> you know, and you've got to think of a week's food. So, yeah. And then I would think, after that and physio, I will be 
resting and Neil will be making sure that I am so I will hopefully get a film done tomorrow at some point yeah I mean there's loads of beautiful things that can be put in here so yeah I will show you it I'll get a journal made or a notebook made and put in the middle um, yeah and show you it on the next video it's going to be lovely with some nice corner stamps maybe and yeah all sorts of things so I could have had some ready if I'd have thought about what I was doing but I was just playing and not going to make a video because <laughs> I'd sat so long and then I thought oh well if I'm going to have a go at another one at a prototype in paper I might as well turn the camera on and and film it so I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching it or um, if you haven't seen Corey's pop over and have a look or have a go up to something like this if you know of any other covers apart from you know the the obvious ones, the Amazon packaging, the um, the soft bodied ones that I make out of um, cardstock and obviously the stitched material ones. If you know of any others that I could be having a go at because I can't so yeah, please let me know or point me in the right direction and um, yeah, I'd love to have a go. So thank you so, so much for staying with me. I know it hasn't been very long, um, but hopefully I'll be with you for a longer one tomorrow. See you all soon. Stay safe. Bye-bye.